<laughs> We're going on a train ride. So I'm packing up for our trip to Portland. We're going on a 30 hour scenic train ride. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, Chris and I are going together. We also have this cute little camera. It's gonna be nice in the train because um, it is a fisheye lens, so it can capture more of the tight space because I think the train's gonna be kind of tight and it doesn't really look like a camera, so I'm not gonna be like uh, shy to film in public. I got my toiletries. I need to pack my clothes. Hi guys, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, check back in soon. In a bag, you're like, Hi baby, we're gonna miss you. Oh, you look so cute in this lens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've been drinking this every morning. I've been trying to get on my health game and I just don't eat very well. Like my diet is not super balanced. So I've been drinking this for about two months now, every morning. Now it's become kind of a nice morning ritual. I wake up, go downstairs, first I drink water and then I drink AG1. Before I would just wake up, drink coffee, which obviously isn't the best. So this creates a nice little buffer for me. AG1 is a daily foundational supplement that supports full body health for things like nutrient replenishment, stress management, and gut health. It contains prebiotics, probiotics, and digestive enzymes. It also contains a broad spectrum of micronutrients and phytonutrients, which can help you overcome nutrient deficiencies if you struggle to eat a balanced diet. Many vitamins and minerals are difficult for your body to process. AG1 makes it easy by sourcing their ingredients for absorption and nutrient density. So that way you can get the most out of the nutrients that you consume. So I honestly didn't love the taste of this when I first tried it, but I also didn't dislike it. It kind of tastes like what you would expect algae to taste like. It's a little bit earthy, planty, but also sweet, which makes sense because the main ingredient is spirulina, which is a type of microalgae. I think it's an acquired taste, but now that I've had this every morning, it's like, oh, it's morning time. Go to drinkag1.com slash benjiplane to get started on your order. AG1 is gonna give my community a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video and let's get on the train. <laughs> Rental car, and then we take the elevator up. Oh, these are good. Our friends just sent us a picture of Theo. <laughs> He's like, who are you guys and where are my fathers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here is the room. So we're in our roomette. The chair, another chair over here, and then this pulls down into a bed. And it, the, it does? Yeah, this one. Does. Oh, this? Yeah. And then this one also somehow becomes a bed too. I think we just have to ask them. It has a curtain here so we can open it, close it. It's nice. It's the cozy. I feel like this lens makes it look so much bigger than it. Than it really is. Here, I'm gonna switch over to my phone. Our knees are almost touching. It's not too bad. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not, it's not that bad. The conductor's coming. He's gonna check our tickets. Feels like the Polar Express. So the dining car staff will make an announcement and come through and take reservations for that. Okay, great. Okay. We can do 12. 12? Yeah. 12 works, yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll see you later. Okay, thank you. Here is our lunch reservation because you have to make reservations for the lunch so the person just came by and then asked what time we wanted to go we're gonna go at 12 which is in an hour and a half and i'm excited to see the like because it, it's like a little restaurant inside of a train car so there's tables and there's chairs um and then there's also a cafe that we want to go to maybe we'll go kind of soonish and then there's also an observation car i really like this one See that on my Instagram, mind, mind your <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he like so dramatic? We're going on the adventure to go to the cafe car and the viewing car. Let's go, Chris. We're back inside our room. So we walked through the train to go to the viewing car and the viewing car was completely filled. On our way to the viewing car, the train was like shaking and it was really hard to walk through the train. We went downstairs to the cafe and most of it was blocked off, but I got an iced tea. We've reached the coast. Look at the ocean, it's so pretty. Look at that. That's California. <laughs> these 
birds They're flying with this. Let me give you a tour of the room. We have a desk. Um, and it opens up so we both have some more space and it's a little chess board, but there are no chess pieces and I barely know how to play chess, so. We have outlets here, well, one outlet, and then there's a reading light, which I'll probably use at night. And this controls the AC. It's so hot in here. When we close the door, it feels like it's a greenhouse because the sun comes in through the window, obviously, and then just heats up the place. So let me take my sweater off. Look at Chris's shirt. It's one of his uh, library <laughs> shirts that he got. Take me to your reader. This looks more comfortable now. Transform this into a bed. Now we have more room. Okay. Well, we can put our feet up now. Maybe. Chris is sleeping tight and cozy. Is it comfortable? What did you say? It's okay. It's not bad. Chris is trying to lower the bed. This is where it's not. Did it work? It's like a little cave. Oh, it's like dark and stuff. This is what the top looks like, the pull-down bed. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Hi. So we're trying to figure out how this net works. I guess this net is supposed to keep you from falling off because you could potentially fall down here, which is not good. But I prefer to be down here. I don't like, I don't know, I don't like sleeping in high places. Now Chris is above me. He's sleeping. I've just been reading and looking out the window and I'm starting to get kind of sleepy because the sounds of the train are nice and then also we're like rocking and swaying back and forth. It's like train ASMR. If you're not from California, you might not know that California has a very different landscapes like vertically. So if you go to the top, it's more dense, foresty, and then the farther south you go, the more like dry and deserty it becomes the view is so beautiful though like california is such a beautiful state um, i'm just like enjoying looking out that's all i've been doing the past like 30 40 minutes to get back to the train soon that i got chris some reese's he loves Reese's, so it's a little surprise for him. I always like getting him like tiny little snacks or gifts when I can. Chris, look what I got for you. Do you want it? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Chris is back. Furthermore, if you happen to come down and you see that box on the stairs, <laughs> and I want you to climb over the box. Look at that spiky, spiky mountain. <laughs> That's where the gods juice their lemons. <laughs> We're trying to take a thumbnail, a picture. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I what? forgot. Oh, I, do too. I do too. Really? But everyone here doesn't. Oh, work. yeah. It's California. That was you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oops, I'm not very good at this game. Heading off to the East Coast. Where on the East Coast? Doable, I know more than two, just be miserable. Yeah, I'm going to what I did last day. It's too much. We have returned to our humble abode. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna lay down close it. and go to sleep. Um, yeah, you can close it. Wanna we'll say goodnight, Chris? Goodnight, guys. Can you see me? Goodnight. <laughs> Morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're still on the train. <laughs> oh, how long do we?
we have left? I feel like we have maybe eight hours or something. I'm not sure. Can't do math. The colors are really nice though. Like the blue and the pink. The city's interesting. <laughs> I ended up sleeping really well. I felt like I was being rocked to sleep like a little baby. And then the train noises were really nice. It felt like I was listening to train ASMR. We have seven hours left of our trip on this train. Look at this view. It's very cold outside and can't see. you can't see anything. Oh, <laughs> well, it's very nice. We're gonna have our breakfast soon and it's so cold outside. I walked outside for a little bit because we were at a stop and it's freezing. Look at this mountain. Right next to this huge lake. It's massive. Look at that. I forgot we have a table. That's a lot of bacon. So pretty! Where I'm from, we don't really get snow, so this is like really cool to me. Wow. I was laying down, enjoying the view. Um, because when I lay down, I can kind of see outside a little bit, and I ended up falling asleep. And I'm being quiet right now because Chris is asleep above me. And I love sleeping on this train. It's so peaceful and cozy, and it just like rocks you to sleep. And I just had like the nicest little nap. We have around four hours left on our train ride. Honestly, I think this might be one of my favorite experiences I've done, but I'm so excited to shower at our friend's house. We just passed through the snowy area and that was so pretty. It looked like a winter wonderland. The snow was like draped on the floor of the forest and whenever the sun would hit it, it would glisten and glimmer and looks like a little crystal shining on the floor. And then there'd be water that comes through and creates these creeks. And it's like forming lines in between the snow and then in those little creeks, a bunch of moss forms there. It's just so pretty. Right now we're past the snow, but the snow is my favorite part, I think so far, just because where I'm from, we don't get snow like that. Um, but right now it's just really pretty foresty area. I like looking out for different creeks and waterfalls and stuff, because they just come up randomly and they're so pretty. But yeah, this, this is what I'm looking at right now. Foggy now, and it looks like twilight. We're in Portland. Woo! Okay, our friends are gonna pick us up soon. Yeah. up from when I put them up? Yeah, no, <laughs> so it was like all in. I think it was like $25. Oh, <laughs> <that works. laughs> Could not be on a podcast. You know? I would say that all the time to people call me. First day in Portland and we're gonna go get something to eat. We're gonna get breakfast somewhere 
and then we're gonna go to Powell's bookstore. We love this bookstore, it's huge. Last time we were here, we were at the bookstore and we were only there for like 30 minutes maybe, and it's a huge bookstore, so um, this time we're gonna take more time and go through it. Yeah. We need more time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this moss. I'm so jealous of mossy places like this. What'd you get? We got some plants for Elle um, and some soil, and we're gonna repot her plants for her because she needs help. I got you soil because we're <laughs> repotting your plants. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 